welcome to Joe is Gaming. Hi, welcome back to Joe is Gaming. First of all, I want to thank the influx of subscribers to my channel. I really appreciate it so much. Unfortunately, I would love to add y'all all y'all as my soldiers to XCOM series, but your subs are private and I cannot see your names. I wouldn't understand why y'all have it set up that way. If what I can do, I'd like to do, is if you just leave a comment in one of my videos of what your, you would like your character's name to be, it doesn't have to be your actual name or YouTube name or anything like that. It can be like whatever you want. Well, almost anything you want within reason. If something you wouldn't say around your grandma or small kids, probably not going to add that. But so long as it's clean, I will definitely add your name, whatever class you would like. Uh, if you'd like to be a marksman, support, ranger, anything like that, let me know. And what your favorite color is, all of those details, and I will get to it. As I have several videos were already recorded, it may take some time to do so. So please be patient with me. I promise I'll get it done. And thank you again so, so much for all the subs. Anyways, enough of all the platitudes. Today, we are going to make it to the new base, hopefully. And if we are successful, we will have to get this rover repaired as it needs some serious attention. Starting probably with the undercarriage and getting these wheels to be the correct width. That's probably me a big deal, as this thing looks like a monstrosity. Uh, we may even quickly model it or start all over. We'll see. I'm going to try something new here and see if my editing adds up to snuff as it will try a time lapse. Uh, being that this is probably going to be generic, me just driving up and down hills and nothing really important happening, I will come back if something happens, uh, enter anything entertaining, or we get attacked again. Uh, that's just something we'll have to look out for, too. Uh, but I'll be right back.
no, no, crap. Oh. We are so close to, oh, great. Let me try to get out of the hole here a little bit. Get on some flat surface so we can actually repair this thing. Man, that's my luck. Um, we're so close to it. You can literally see it on the horizon. And we broke our wheels. Yeah, that's the thing. Let's just go ahead and pick up the scrap that fell off. There's the wheel. I can grind it down. Not believe that. No, I can't. Oh, it is what it is, I suppose, in space engineers. This is what happens. You break a wheel, you fix a wheel. Anyway, let's get this thing repaired. Let's go ahead and put a piston on it. Do the old trick that we've been doing. Hop in here, make sure my parking brake is on, activate the piston, I don't know which one it is, so we'll just give it a whirl, did I get successful? Yes. This thing is so ugly looking, we've got to do something about that. and add a few more armor blocks otherwise it's going to be even looking worse one more I think and then we'll be even I think not that it matters we're almost there if I can just get this fixed up just enough to make it back to base no construction going has any. Oh, no. Oof. Well, that didn't take us long to go upside down again. <laughs> Let's see if I can just spin it around. Wee! Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Now I'll continue. Try not to do that again. Being that we're so, so, so close. Yeah, it's still straight in front of us. Alright. <clears throat> Take four, five, six. I don't know. Finally, we are here. Finally. I thought we would never make it here the way this thing was going. But uh, we did. Um, tell me what y'all think of this time lapse. Or would you like to see the gameplay entirely? Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see the whole thing. Or if you want me to do it like this way from here on out. Might make things like mining and uh, building uh, go a lot quicker. And maybe it's more entertaining for y'all. Just like I said, let me know. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get these pistons uh, down and out. Get them retracting. Now, what to do with you? You are in much need of repair. But first, let's go ahead and unload you. Get the last of our supplies onto the base. Beautiful laser turret there, windmill barely spinning.
Yeah, if y'all like that, please let me know. Otherwise, I can't fix it if I don't know it's broken. We gotta get this base up and running. We need to get a better power supply going. We need to build the foundations in order to dig into the ice as well as the side of the hill there. I don't know if I want to build into this face rock, like I said, and inside of that hill there. Have a little bit more protected. But we need to get a platform to get, build a rocket on because we are going to go to space eventually. Don't know when that's going to be, but we are going to definitely do so. We gotta get that hydrogen refined. We gotta get a hydrogen uh, splitter, if you want to call it. I can't remember the word it's called. But basically, it takes the ice, turns it into oxygen and water, and separates the hydrogen out of it. We use it to fuel a tank that's a little on board the ship. Get this last little bit of iron in. Let's say last little bit, 16k. I'm gonna take a few more trips. As our inventory only holds 10 liters, to 10,000 liters. Sorry, a few, I'm a few liters off there. I've actually turned up the settings of what you can hold inside the game. Otherwise, this game can be very tedious. Actually, no suit can only hold 4,000. I'm mistaken completely. I think the what well, well, holds 10,000? I'm thinking something else. I think so. Anyways. So you can hold 4,000 liters of mass. Which is definitely better than some other ones. Sun is finally coming up. That'll be good. We can get our little flyer there powered back up. So we can take her on little scouting trips to find more better resources. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I just thought I had a bug crawling on me. It turns out it was just some of my wife's hair. Whoo, that got me to really. Sorry about that again. I'll go ahead and leave that in there because I'm sure that would be entertaining for y'all. Wasn't entertaining for me at all. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Um, yeah, space engineers. <laughs> I got the last of our stuff in here. Got a hydrogen tank back out. There's our First steps will be to get this thing fixed after we get. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and jump up there. Nope. Come on. There you go. Go ahead. That's not what I tried to do. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. These things grinded down. this thing all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Put the first piston down there. And I think it'd be better to put stick a little further out. Better stability. One more. Okay, baby. Hey, baby's up. And some of y'all might have noticed uh, the dog videos that I uploaded. Oh, that's little Hodor. There's nothing little about him. He's, he's about 110 pounds of nope. And he quite hates squirrels, as y'all probably could tell by the video. We named him after the Hodor from Game of Thrones, who's the, based on a large character. It's a large, simple man who's loyal to a fault. And my dog quite literally took after his persona. Him being a boxer did not help him at all. And if y'all don't know about boxers, well, they are amazing dogs. I have some close friends who owned a pair of boxers, and I thought they were just too much fun, and I told myself that one day I would get one, and my friends warned me then that boxers are like potato chips. You can't just stop at one. Unfortunately, they were correct, as Hodor is actually my second boxer. 
My first is a, a little girl named Goober. She definitely fits her name too. I haven't posted any videos of her yet as she's pretty camera shy. She's a bit older. I think she's about seven or eight now. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not trying not to think about her age. It only depresses me. You know, we don't really deserve these little angels. They are amazing animals. Anyway, do y'all have any pets? If so, what kinds and what are their names? I uh, prefer, the, prefer dogs and reptiles as I'm allergic to cats, but if you let me down in the comment section, we can talk about our four-legged fur babies. And it'd be a nice little neat little subject to talk about this undercarriage figured out now that she's raised up I can see what we're doing go ahead and put some armor blocks down here and make her look actually like a vehicle instead of the Gran Turismo drifting event we just went through a lot of things we could do with this rover I'm thinking of um, we could potentially attach it to some merge blocks and if we're going to go to the moon we could attach it with the merge blocks and take it with us if, on a rocket ship might be useful up there if we decide that moon base is the way we want to go or we could build an asteroid base and in that case it wouldn't be we could actually bring our other rover along it would be easier to convert and we can just leave this little puppy here in case bad things happen get the right shape here we could add a drill to this one in the meantime and actually have it as a mobile uh, drilling rig add some cargo containers so for storage because we know she's tough quite literally took a beating and kept on ticking I don't know if that drone did any damage to her you wouldn't be able to tell I think it was after me, I'm pretty sure it was. And that's another thing we gotta look out for. We might want to consider putting in some turrets on her, just in case we get attacked again. We'll have something of a mobile defense system, in case we do need a bug out and our base hole gets overrun. Can't find the right shape. These things mess with my OCD. And this is what I could also do is fast forward doing these processes to make the game a little more entertaining because I know it's probably boring just staring at me building this. If this was a live stream or something we could have a conversation while we're doing it but it's not so I can see how it could be very very boring. So if you'd like me to I can very well speed the process up by doing a time lapse on it. Let's change the armor blocks here. We need to get a build and repair system up on the base, that's for sure. That would help this building process up quite a bit. That way we don't have to deal with it too much. So there's a new uh, AI uh, in the workshop mod that I plan on trying out. I may bring it in. It's a different kind of build system. It has a actual bot that runs around one for defense uh, one for uh, building and the one for scavenging goes around and picks up parts and pieces it's a little dog thing and a little human thing and a little flying robot it's actually pretty cool interesting uh, XP gamers uh, has it on his stream saw it and I thought maybe that would be a really good idea to put it to mine it's definitely something it's something to do Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks again for all the subs and likes. I really, really do appreciate it. And peace, love, and tacos, everybody. I'm out. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Also, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It helps out tremendously. Thanks.